off. And so there's this new piece of technology that's about to be available for pre-order in the next couple of days, the Apple Watch. And our technology specialist, Mike Yanni, only Canadian journalist to get his mitts on this thing. And he's been testing it out for the last couple of days. They said he was wearing it for a week and mm. keep it on the down low. So no, here's Mike's yeah. review of the Apple Watch. We are a culture obsessed with time, with work, and our phones. How many times do you look at your phone every hour? For some, it's a tough habit to crack, but it could be as easy as glancing at your wrist. Apple Watch is designed like a piece of fine jewelry. Comfortable and elegant, surprisingly durable. Bands can be swapped out, tailored to your outfit or your mood, as can the digital faces, from the whimsical to the practical. But time is a small part of what this watch can do. Apple Watch works in unison with your iPhone. Setup is simple. Your watch will display a unique image on the screen. All you have to do is take your iPhone, snap a photo of the screen, and you're good to go. Within minutes, you'll be receiving messages, mail, and social media notifications. Each one is accompanied by a unique tone and vibration. Text messages will appear in full, but mail is simplified. Navigating your Apple Watch takes some getting used to. It's not quite as intuitive as your iPhone. Everything is done through swipes and taps, but the screen is too small for pinch to zoom. Instead, you can use the digital crown to zoom and scroll, letting you navigate without having your fingers obstruct your view of the screen. And yes, you can even make calls from Apple Watch as long as you're within Bluetooth distance of your iPhone. The sound quality isn't stellar, but handy for quick calls when you're too lazy to dig out your phone. Apple also introduces new ways to communicate with other watch wearers. Digital Touch lets you tap a pattern on your Apple Watch and send it to a friend who will feel it on their wrist. You can send animated emojis, a quick sketch, or send your heartbeat using the built-in heart rate sensor. Kind of creepy, but also kind of cool. Sure, Apple Watch has a lot of interesting features, but one of the best has to be the built-in activity tracker. And what better place to put it to the test than New York's Central Park? Apple Watch can track time, pace, calories, and heart rate. If you bring your iPhone along with you, it'll also gauge distance using your phone's GPS. Over time, Apple Watch tracks your activity, helping you achieve your daily goals, even nudging you every hour to get you up and moving. Pair it with apps and you get even more out of the watch. While in New York, I was able to unlock my hotel room without a key card. I bought a coffee at Starbucks without my wallet, even hailed a ride to the airport using Uber, all for my watch. Apple Watch is elegant. It has useful apps. In fact, I don't normally wear a smartwatch, and when I forget to put it on in the morning, I'd feel naked without it. Apple Watch doesn't replace your iPhone. If that's what you're looking for, then it's not for you. It complements it. It acts as a filter so you don't have to constantly pull out your phone throughout the day. And for many, that alone will be worth it. For City News, I'm Mike Yonke.